Hello everyone, and I welcome all of you to online study for you a complete placement solution. Friends, as you are aware, TCS NQT and Smart Hiring Date is announced. So each and every day has become very very important for us to put effort and crack this TCS examination because most of the companies are not going to visit the colleges this time. So in our today's class, we will be solving. one of the difficult topic compound interest so all the complicated problems we will be using shortcut method to solve in a simpler way so i request all of you to watch the video till the end and also if you like please comment so i will make part 2 on compound interest so before we solve question number 1 about me so i have 11 plus years of it industry experience and i have been teaching aptitude and reasoning from last 10 plus years so this compound interest video will definitely help you to solve problems asked in the placement examination i am also the founder of online study for you now question number 1 so with the help of shortcut techniques in one line we can solve a sum becomes 4500 after 2 years so multiply two times and 6750 after 4 years so divide it by 6750 and you will be getting 3000 option c will become the correct answer so this is a shortcut techniques i will tell you how you can find this shortcut techniques or what is the logic behind that before that let us look at the normal process ones okay now so if sum becomes so suppose uh, your sum is x so it becomes uh, 4500 in 2 years okay and the same sum becomes 6750 rupees in 4 years right okay now so you have to find out sum so we have to use the formula of compound interest so amount will be equal to principal into 1 plus r by 100 to the power n right okay now so amount is what 6750 principal is not given 1 plus r rate is not known and time is 4 years this is my equation 1 right now for similarly for the first one so amount is 4500 principal into 1 plus r by 100 and time is 2 here right okay so this is my equation 2 now divide 1 by 2 right so divide 1 by 2 so if we we'll divide 1 by 2 then principal and principal will get cancelled and this will get cancelled by two times so 1 plus r by 100 square basically now i will use another pen so 6750 divided by 4500 is equals to 1 plus r by 100 square now put this equation 3 in equation So four five double zero is equals to principal into what is the value of one plus r by hundred square? It is six seven five zero and divided by four five double zero. Now cross multiplication. So principal will become equal to four five double zero into four five double zero divided by six seven five zero, which I have already told you, and you are able to do after spending almost two minutes and by remembering the formula of uh you know compound interest right so friends see the tricks no the tricks which i tell you in all my sessions it's not like i went inside you know 100 feet inside the earth and then i found this trick or i went inside the amazon jungle and then i found a trick no see the tricks are nothing but a steps from the solutions which we have to work and get it right see if i tell you directly this then in exam you can save time in any exam either tcs accenture you have to save time so that's what i will be teaching you in my class okay so i will ask you to ignore this see if you will also do it will take time for you to understand that this is the only step which is a solution right okay fine so i hope you understand now so same question if it comes in your exam if uh, a sum becomes a sum of 4500 after 2 years okay it becomes and 6000 Seven fifty becomes after four years. Then what is the sum? Now you can do the calculation here. Five ninety times and five one thirty five times forty five three is one thirty five, and this is thirty times. So that becomes three thousand. Now many of you might tell, sir, will this work on other problem? What if it is not four years? So I have the problem for you where it is not four years. So this is two years and three years, sir. What if they are not asking the sum? and they are asking something else then also it is there a sum becomes this what could be the amount if the same sum is invested at 15% per annum compound interest for 3 years so all see at the end of the session 
you will not have any doubt in compound interest problem all type of problems i will cover so you will definitely feel very much confident in compound interest now so a sum becomes rupees 4840 in two years so 4840 and 5856.4 in four years when compounded annually what is the sum so again if you'll simplify you will be getting the amount and it will be 4000 so only one step single step right single step and you are able to get the solutions right now so we will make this problem little complicated okay so a sum becomes 4840 right in two years and 5856.4 in four years when compounded annually what would be amount if the same sum is invested at rate 15 percent and time is three years so basically we need to find out first principle so solve this so when you will solve we will be getting 4000 so our principle became 4000 right okay now we have to calculate compound interest now so here there will be a twist so i will tell you the basic method to find out compound interest i will also tell you the formula so basically they wanted what could be the amount so amount will be equal to what p into 1 plus r by 100 to the power n so principal is 4000 into 1 plus r is 15 by 100 and to the power 3 so 4000 and into so 5 3 is a 520 times so it will become 23 by 20 cube now calculation don't you know run away from the calculation these calculations are not tough 23 by 20 23 by 20 into 23 by 20 right okay so one zero so three zeros are there so three zero three zero cancelled two two four now we have 23 into 23 into 23 divided by two it is not completely divisible by two so our answer will not be all this our answer will be option three six zero eight three point five zero because or oh, see if it is divisible suppose if it comes five eight double zero then we can say sir 2900 no but it is not like that so 23 is not divisible by 2 then definitely so we will not have uh, a complete value we will be having answers in the decimal so we have to use our mind in the uh you know exam okay now sir what is the basic method if i don't remember the formula then how will i solve the compound interest compound interest i will make it very very easy for you friends okay now so basically 4000 rupees is there okay now and uh, see this question i will also answer you later in a very easier way so now and the interest is 15 percent first year second year and then third year right okay so first year what will be the interest 4000 15 percent okay so I, later on i will in this session only i will tell you in detail so it is nothing but 600 okay so it is nothing but uh if you calculate 15 percent of 4000 so 2020 cancel uh this will be 600 right okay then now so basically if it is a simple interest then every year it is 600 600 right okay but now in compound interest compound interest how it is different compound interest is nothing but interest on interest so now we will calculate uh you know 15 percent of 600 so 15 percent of 600 will be 90 okay so now 600 plus 90 so here it will be 690 and now we will calculate 15 percent of 690 right so 15 percent of 690 we will calculate but anyway so it will be definitely uh suppose it is if it is 700 then what will be 15 percent so it will be around uh 105 right so it will be around 105 right okay fine no problem so our principal is 4000 and 6 6 and 6 so 6 uh, here it is 600 here it is 690 uh, and here it is around 597 795 so 600 plus 690 and plus 795 right okay no problem now you see 5 and uh, 9 9 18 and then 7 and 7 0 2 and 4 to 6 so 6 0 8 5 so any nearby answer yes because we have not exactly calculated see what is the use of exactly calculating now this is very very simple i will tell you so once we will solve one or two problem it will become very very clear for us okay it will become very very clear and i have taken this kind of problems later you can see here so this particular problem so find simple interest okay so i have taken simple interest and then same problem i have taken for compound interest so that i can tell you 
how exactly you will be solving compound interest problem without using any formula right okay now so friends if you want to learn this kind of tricks then we have launched crash course on tcs and qt so it is not only for tcs it is for all the examination because aptitude will not change for accenture aptitude will not change for any other examination right okay and it is in a very proper way we have you know release the crash course so first what you have to do if you are a you know a student and does not have any idea so basically this is zero to hero series so aptitude videos so here all the aptitude videos like simplification average percentage profit and loss number system okay cf lcm right so if you'll go forward simple and compound interest one hour and eight minute videos are there right so all everything has been covered here and then difficult level of the problems is also covered right okay and then reasoning similar way so you will be having reasoning videos and then practice videos will be there and then you know aptitude after that so sir where to solve the questions mock test okay that also we have right so from here we will be able to solve the mock test right so from here you will be easily able to solve the mock test okay and i will tell you one more very important thing sir we want more question don't worry so we have released a ebook okay so there you can see right so uh, you know where all the formulas has been given then tcs previous year problem is there practice problem for tcs is given and tcs coding challenge is also there right so you can see like first we have discussed all the problems right so compound interest you are doing so all the problems has been given any kind of investment all the concepts has been given in the pdf format so you do not have to watch the video right so you can see tcs nqt 2020 so all the previous year problem tcs nqt 2020 right so as you will be going ahead so all the previous year problem right practice problem each and everything so more than 208 pages are there right so actually uh, we have updated it still so more than 208 pages are there in this particular ebook right so you can see 130 to 208 right okay so this will be very very useful more than 500 plus questions has been prepared so this will give you i mean you do not have to search for any other material right okay and then sir programming from where to read so if you're preparing for programming then what you have to do right so only tcs specific then go for coding crash course and tcs and kitty programming videos where we have covered the previous year question of tcs right okay and then if you clear this then interview is there test series is there so each and everything is there in only one you know uh package right so okay come out from this programming videos and then you will be having the interview courses test series so the link is in description get it right now don't regret later okay and the price is uh, see the in 999 rupees it's not only for tcs for other examination also it will get covered you do not have to buy separately okay so get it today and learn all the tricks and make sure that you crack the tcs examination because the competition is going to be very very tough now a certain sum of money amounts to amounts to 7260 in two years okay and a certain sum of money uh you know it becomes uh 7986 in 3 years sir how to solve sometime back you told when there is a gap of 2 years then just multiply this by 2 and then divide by 2 see in this problem you do not have to do that in this problem this is a very very easy problem right now because for one year no for one year your simple interest and your compound interest will be same okay so now there is a gap of one year so just calculate the in one year how much you are getting so six to seven so in one year in one year the increment is 726 rupees and this is nothing but seven two six zero and seven two six so this is definitely sir it is ten percent of this it is ten percent of this that means the interest is 10% of the principal so option three will become the correct answer for this why you need why you need any kind of tricks right or so here you see anyway so you invested some money it became 720 and in three years it is 7986 so basically this will become your principal because as i said for one year your principal and sorry your simple interest and compound interest will be same right and what is the interest so interest it is 726 why we are taking simple interest because for one year it is simple interest and compound interest is same and now you have to calculate rate so simple interest will be equal to prt by 100 simple interest is 726 principal is 7260 rate we have to calculate time is one year and divide by 100 so this is 10 times and this is 10 times so rate will be equal to 10 percent right so that's what i was telling you so you by seeing only you can say so this is 10 percent that means if you will divide it by 10 right so it will become 726 so it is 10 percent of that so 10% will become the correct answer for this. Okay. Now, 
नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव सो इफ ए सम ऑन कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट बिकम्स थ्री टाइम्स इन फोर इयर्स सो ए सम इज देर ओके इट बिकम्स थ्री टाइम्स थ्री टाइम्स थ्री टाइम्स राइट सो थ्री टाइम्स इन फोर इयर्स राइट ओके देन विथ द सेम इंटरेस्ट रेट द सम विल बी एटी वन टाइम्स एटी वन टाइम्स इन हाउ मेनी इयर इन हाउ मेनी इयर ओके नाउ सो फ्रेंड थ्री टाइम्स इज नथिंग बट थ्री टू दावर वन एंड एटी वन टाइम इज थ्री टू दावर फोर राइट थ्री इंटू थ्री इज नाइन एंड अगेन थ्री इंटू थ्री इज नाइन सो नाइन इंटू नाइन इज एटी वन थ्री टू दावर फोर नाउ हियर दिस फोर नो यू मल्टीप्लाई विथ फोर सो फोर इंटू फोर विल बी सिक्सटीन सो फोर इंटू फोर विल बी सिक्सटीन Sixteen years will become the correct answer. Fifteen, uh, sixteen years will become the correct answer, sir. This will work everywhere. Yes, this will work everywhere. Let us take one more problem. If a sum of money triple itself, that means three to the power one triple itself uh, in three years at compound interest, okay? Then in how many years it will become nine times? Nine times is nothing but three square, right? Nine times. So this is two multiply with three. So three into two will be what? Six. so six years will be the correct answer right so friends see all these tricks how you will be able to utilize by doing practice right and for practice we have already given you the sheet right for practice we have already given you the sheet for practice we have already given you you know uh, like mock test so now what else you want so you solve the question use the technique which i have taught you or i am teaching you that will be more than sufficient but get this crash course today So nine ninety nine rupees is very small amount. See, people are selling the same courses in ten thousand, eight thousand, six thousand, two thousand, and in fact, they do not have all this content, right? So you can see the number of videos, right? But I told you what exactly you read for your TCS examination. Now, so now we will understand how to calculate simple interest and compound interest. See, the compound interest for two years and four months is really a complicated sum. Many of you will not be able to solve. Now, let us see. find simple interest on rupees 8000 okay rate is 15% and time is 2 years and 4 month 2 years and 4 month okay now so for some time you assume 3 years and then we will calculate for 2 years 4 month now so always remember in simple interest no your interest will be always same <clears throat> your interest will be always same always same the reason is simple interest will be always calculated on principal simple interest will be always calculated on principal okay but compound interest it will not be same so anyway now we are going to calculate the simple interest principal is equal to 8000 rate is equal to 15% and right now we are calculating time for 3 years see i wanted everything to be very very clear for you i uh, you know so that you don't get into any kind of confusion now for the first year so what will be the interest 8000 into 15 by 100 sir it is nothing but 1200 it is nothing but 1200 so 1200 for the second year also it is 1200 for the third year also it is 1200 right okay now so this is my first year this is my second year and this is my third year okay now so they are asking for two years and four months so two years we already have now this is for complete year right so this is for complete year they wanted only for four months right so 12 months and four months is nothing but one quarter right so 12 months is nothing but one quarter so this is nothing but 1 by 3 so what we will do we will divide it by 3 because see in 12 months one year four months four months four months that means three times so we will divide it by 3 so for the four months the interest will be 400 so 1200 plus 1200 plus 400 so we calculated for 2 years and 4 months it is uh, 2800 option 3 will become the correct answer right okay now so uh, find compound interest so again we have 8000 rate is equals to 15% now you try to understand this this will be little uh, you know which you need to understand it okay now it is 3 uh, years you assume later on we will calculate for um Two years and four months. Okay, now, so for the first year, see, for the first year, no, your simple interest and compound interest will be same. So it is nothing but twelve hundred, right? Okay. So basically, if it is simple interest, every year it will be twelve hundred, twelve hundred. But if it is compound interest, first year it will be same. First year it will be same. Now second year, so whatever interest you have, no, now we have to calculate interest on that. So now twelve hundred, and then we have to calculate fifteen percent of that. 
So 1200 into 15% of that, it will be nothing but 180. So now we have to 180, right? Now, so total will be what? 1380. Now, in the third year, we have to calculate interest on interest, right? So that is called Chakravidhi Vyaj, compound interest. So 380 into 15 by 100, right? Okay. So 1380 into 15 by 100. So 1010 zero, zero cancel, 5 threes are 5 twos are, and then 269 times 3 nine are 197, if I'm not wrong. So no, 207, 207. So 1380 plus 207. It is 781587, right? So this is for first year, second year, and then third year. Now, so for the, this is for the complete third year, but we have to calculate for four months. So divided by three. So three fives are 15 and three twos are 529. Now, what will be our uh, interest? So 1200 rupees for the first year, second year it is 1380, and for the third year it is 529. 9, 0, uh, 10, 1, and 2 plus 1, 3. 3, 1, 0, 9. Option 2 will become the correct answer, right? So this is how you will be solving the problems on compound interest, okay? So friends, uh, if you want part 2, please let me know in the comment section. So I will make part 2 for all of you, right? So see this compound interest, no? we will make it very, very easy for all of you, right? And for this kind of tricks, so uh, the courses link is in... Uh, the descriptions of the video, right? So get it right now and learn the tricks and solve the questions quickly in the examination. Thank you. Take care and all the very, very best.